On this week's KSP News Show. Want to help with the testing of 1.1? Well, if you have KSP on Steam, now you can. The full details on this week's short KSP News Show. Reporting live from the Kerbal Space Center, it's your host, Jin Lee Kerman. Good morning, evening, and afternoon, my fellow Kerbinauts. My name is Jin Lee Kerman. Welcome back to this week's KSP News Show. And first of all, I apologize if the quality of this episode is perhaps somewhat subpar compared to what it usually is. This is because I wanted to get a piece of information out to the general uh, public as quickly as I possibly could. And that is that a beta test, an open beta test of Kerbal Space Program 1.1 is now available to those of you who have the game on Steam, such as myself. Early this morning, Squad tweeted out, the KSP 1.1 pre-release branch is now available on Steam for those of you who want to help us test. And then it puts a link to a forum post by the developer known as Casper, and it says, Welcome! We're incredibly pleased to announce that the 1.1 pre-release is now live. It can be found in the pre-release branch of Steam. Details on accessing it can be found below. It does give a little before you download uh, disclaimer here, and it reads, Please be aware of the following. The pre-release builds should not be considered released versions of the game, but are still in development. This means they can be unstable, the mods will break between the regular updates of the pre-release branch, and that the save game compatibility is not guaranteed. The game may do anything ranging from being unplayable due to bugs, to frequently crashing to the desktop, and to crashing your video card drivers. This pre-release build is meant purely for people who want to help provide feedback and solve bugs, or wish to bring their mods into KSP 1.1 before the actual release of the update. We warn against the use of the pre-release for people who just want to play the game. We hope you'll join join us for our first pre-release and play, play an update like no other. However, it will, sooner or later, break. So use the pre-release builds, um, builds is fully at your own risk. And remember to back, your, back up your saves and crafts. Now, there are instructions here on how to actually opt in if you do have the game on Steam. And I'll read them out with a visual representation using um, some footage that I've captured via OBS. So first of all, it asks you to read the disclaimer that I've just read, uh, read out to you guys. So hopefully you're all aware of the risks with downloading this build of the game and it says to download the 1.1 pre-release first find Kerbal Space Program in your Steam library then right click it and select properties when the properties windows opens select the betas tab and open the drop down menu select the pre-release branch and let Steam update your game you're now ready to use KSP 1.1 when people ask you how to get access to the pre-release, pre please refer them to this forum post so that they can read all the information contained within it. Now, I will leave a link to this forum post in the description down below if you want to read the FAQ and um, some stuff about 64-bit not being the default, still 32-bit being default. You can still access six the new 64-bit, it's just when you first download it, you have to go into the game files. Basically similar to how 64-bit worked uh, before it was removed. Um, so that's not really much of an issue, but like I say, I will link this forum post in the description down below so you guys can take a look at the full details. But oh my god, guys, the hype is crazy and stuff like that, but seriously, guys, follow the instructions on this on this uh, thing. If you guys just want to play 1.1 early, this really isn't a good thing to do. Like they said, it is going to be very much a, uh, a, a buggy um, a buggy install of Kerbal Space Program compared to perhaps what you're used to and so chances are you'll, you'll probably just be disappointed if you are basically getting this to play the game early. I'm downloading it at the moment because I do want to actually give some feedback uh, if I try and uh, I'm going to try and break the game in a number of different ways particularly with the new inflatable heat shield. I'm going to send that to Eve with a rather sort of large craft uh, stuck to it to see what sort of happens. That's going to be where I'm going to test out because that's what I want to, I want to try it most it's one of the things I'm most looking forward to so it's something I want to check this to see if it works and everything but if you guys basically just want to download this update as like a preview to what 1.1 is I kind of recommend against that because obviously that's the guideline that's been given to you within the uh, within the actual forum post itself but if you want to if you honestly want to provide feedback to the, the developers Give this a download uh, using the instructions provided in the forum post and the instructions I've just given you. And uh, make sure you do provide the feedback because um, 
last thing we want is a buggy release and this is a huge update especially on the back end of um, the back end of things uh, with Kerbal Space Program and the engine and Unity 5 and that whole awesome stuff but guys I'm super hyped I'm glad I gave you uh, this information and it should mean that 1.1 the actual release uh, providing no massive game breaking bugs pop up in the next few weeks is really really not far away we've obviously had YouTuber videos from Scott Manley and the like from their um, pre-release versions so fingers crossed we may actually get 1.1 within the month, maybe. Within the month of April. But yeah, guys, once again, sorry if this was perhaps lower production quality than KSP News usually is. I just kind of wanted to get this out there so that you guys knew what was going on. Uh, so that you kind of got up to date with the whole 1.1 situation. And uh, I hope you guys uh, do provide some awesome feedback in this beta for 1.1 itself. But guys, remember to like and subscribe for more. My name is Jin Lee Kerman, and as always, stay classy.